Hi everybody, hi dear, the Irish Crafter. Hello, sorry about that. Welcome, um, I hope you're all having a, a good Easter. As you may well know, I've got a new puppy and I've finally escaped for a little bit. It's so hard looking after a puppy. Who knew? Anyway, because I got away for half an hour, I thought I'd, um, well, say in half an hour, I've already done um, one item which I'm going to upload today for the um, Living Stamps um, challenge where you can win £40 spend at L Lavinia and it's called the challenge is Magic at Midnight so if you pop on over there won't be a video for that but um, I've done videos sort of similar before so you'll understand right I'm going to get on with this because I have no idea how long it's going to take. I've been messing playing, but it didn't work, so <laughs> who knows where I'm having a go. Right, I've stamped um, the Twisted Willow straight across, and I've eaten embossed it. That's why it's there, because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I've eaten it, but I've also done um, a mask, so I'm going to... Pardon me, put the mask on. I haven't cut it perfectly because I'm going to be doing bits around it. To be honest, I don't even know why I've cut a mask. But there you go. I've cut a few masks. Right, what we are going to do is we're going to have some sky, some greenery. We are going to have the Toad Lodge. Oh, my hands are already. We're going to have Toad Lodge round there somewhere. And I'm going to have some stones coming out of his, his, the house. And I wanted to make like a secret garden here. I did make, when I was messing, I put a tree up here, but I just didn't like it. I can't believe I've got that muck here already. Um, so I'm going to put... I'm going to go up here a bit more, down there, and I'm going to put a fairy sitting on this, so, and she'll be about there, so I'm going to have to move it to about there. Thinking about stamping these on first, so I can cover them. And also, we are having badger. i got a lot of the stuff out ready, so I'm going to put badger just here. I could sit the fairy there, let's have a look. We're using um, Quinn. So I was going to sit her here. Um, we could, no, I can't sit her there. Because I'm going to have stones coming out of the house. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to, let's stamp that secret garden there. Okay, this is a great start. I've got everything I needed plus extras. Right, so you look. Right, I'm going to stamp it up in. Right, it's going to be very, very dark at the bottom here. Um, oh, because I'm going to put some flowers and brighten it up, I'm going to actually go with the brown. Am I? Wait a minute, what colour's that? This is the only thing I didn't get out was the different colour of inks because I more or less stamped everything in black and brown when I was rehearsing it. What colour does this stamp? Morning Mist. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I might actually do the house in that as well. Oh, it's not going to be dark, is it? Let's have a look first. Oh. Don't know if it might be a bit too... No. I'm going to try the brown.
I wanted to use this secret garden for ages and don't use it. See, I think that's dark, but we'll go in with it. I don't know if I want to, you know. This is where I waste most of my time, me. See what other colours we've got. I mean, I've got all the colours. So, how will that look with a bit of. Ooh, that's more flowers. I'm going black. Am I going black or am I going brown? I'm going brown. Don't forget over on our Facebook page we have um, a giveaway on. I think we may end it this week actually. And all, all you've got to do is share the page and you get um, a stamp. In fact I'll show you the stamp. You get um, this one, and this is Berlin. It's quite a big stamp. So if you want to be entered into that, over you go, off you pop. Right, I'm going to put it there. Well, once it's done, it's done, isn't it? We're going to be using some watercolour pencils. Oh, look, I've done it there and no, all. I am unbelievable. We're going to be using some pastel, soft pastels, which I got after watching Lisa Taggart. Amazing lady. I mean, I've never, ever compared to what that lady can do, but I'll have a go. We're not doing out colourful anyway, so until I've practised, I'll just have to um, go with what I'm doing today. I'm only using greys and blacks, I think it is, just to do, you know, down here where the, um, I'm going to cut the whole things off. Oh, it's so nice to have a bit of peace. Lexi is absolutely petrified of Rosie. The main reason we got Rosie was because Lexi will only go near King Charles dogs, because that's what she is. And she's really, really funny. And she'll only go near them. Oh, no. Not Rosie. She's petrified. Look at the colour of this all across here and everywhere. Good job I'm covering it up in it. Right, I don't think I'm gonna put um well I've made a mask to do. I want the house to sit around here. Yep. Stamping it. In black. So I'm the Easter eggs that you all get. Something I don't buy. I think whatever the reasons people celebrate it and whatever the reason I mean you could argue with everybody over it, but it's just buying Easter eggs is just to me not right. And I eat them all. So not something I want to be doing. So that's going to go around there. Going to go around here. And actually the mask I'm using. I don't ever recall using this stamp unless I've practiced something with it. Um, but the mask that I'm using, I didn't do a new one, it's filthy. I'm trying to put these away as I'm using them 
it because I've got so many out and open. Right, I'm hoping it's got enough stick to it. It's only while I put a bit of sky and stuff in. Come on. Right, that should do nicely. Lucky hands, lucky hands. Who else ends up putting stuff, extra stuff on because they've made a mess? Crazy. Right. I'm going to put a little bit of sky in to start off with. Where's me? So he's going to sit there. That's going to be me. Um, how far in do I want him? I'm going there. Is that going to be there? Yeah. We're going for it. Um, it's not Blue Lagoon I used first, is it? Must be. We're going Blue Lagoon. And I have to get another brush out because I can't find my blue one. I don't know what I've done with it. I'm only putting a, a rough sky in. I mean, I want it to look quite cloudy anyway. And I was putting a the sun there, but I've already gone and put blue. So no sun today. That's okay, because I can put some more greenery up there then. I weren't bothered about how it yep yeah, that'll do oh first of all I'm going to stamp um, the badger because I needed it to dry and I don't want to clear eat embossing because I'm gonna do soft pastel over him he's going to look quite um blurry because if you think about it it's going to be extremely dark to be fair you wouldn't be able to see him would you so i don't think it matters where he goes he's going here in fact he's going there so the practice one i made this look like um like him coming out of an all, but it just, I don't know, all this is under, underneath anyway, isn't it, so. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It'll look no like that. It'll look like, when you look at him, you'll, you'll, he looks like you need glasses. He's all blurry, smudged. On purpose, by the way. He's just called Badger. Um, I've been a good girl putting them all away. Right, I'm just going to give him a quick blast. I am going to do the green here first, but I just want to... You know what I'm like. That will warm. Yeah. Right, so the opposite bit to that, I should be able to do that. I'm going to stick this bit down because I'm going to end up with it overlapping. And now I can't get into the end of me. I'm using masking magic today. I'm nearly, nearly out of my Lavinia already. I've used so much of it. Right, where did we? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've used, I've used so much masking tape lately. I know it's going to go over a little bit there, but that'll do. And I'm going to put that there, just so I don't go off the edge. Go me for remembering. Right. I should, by rights, just have a little bit of, that's my new one. Right, it's got a little bit of brown on just before I start the... It's not smudging, is it? I'm just going to darken this up a little bit before we start with the pastels. <laughs> oh, put my nose there. I know you wouldn't have um, foliage under here, but we're going to have some. And I know this hasn't touched the edges, but I'll probably cut it down anyway. I mean, you can re-stamp it and just put the edges on. And that one should have a bit of black in it. Yeah, that's how, what I mean by I want it to look mucky. It will be a lot darker than that as well. But that's just to get, giving me an idea of what I'm doing. Right, so we're going to come in with the, 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 she says. Well, I want the green sleeves, but where's me? I didn't realise I put all the elements away. Of course I did, it was right at the bottom. So we're just going to do a rough um, coating like we've done with the blue. I was supposed to put some stones there as well. Um, I can still do that, we can colour them in. not putting a proper coating in yet because I have no idea. I wanted to put another another line in somewhere but I don't know where yet. Let's have a look at that. Where do we want another line? Let's get them steps for there. I do have them at the side here somewhere. One moment. Here they are. So all I wanted to do with them was have them literally going to edge of paper. And I wonder if we can do, I think in grey, just what colour did we say it were? Um, no, we'll go black because we've done else in black, haven't we? Tell you that, artist battles, deciding what colours to do things and where your stamps are. I know it makes it look a bit odd, but it's some sort. It's like a little path coming through, isn't it? Onto, onto the next page. Right, 
it'll look all right when it's done rather than it just be stuck there in the um, middle of nowhere it's another one put away um, what am I doing here where's me I want to do another let's take it off let's take that off a minute Oh, I know I did the deal up there. I was going to put the washing line up, but it weren't working. So what I want, maybe a bit darker there, coming down here, we're going to stick, where's that there? Shall we stick her on now and then? Oh no, because we'll have to colour that. But she's going to sit there. What can she be? Up here, I've got um, I've got some bubbles out. Here we go. Um, no, it's too big. do we think or we could have the birds up here and like she's let the birds go um, could have a hold in that heart just the heart bit don't know what to do with her let's have a look I'm just having a look in these pouches here to see which what we can do. I don't know yet. Right, let's take her off a minute. I'm going to darken that up a bit. Or would it be darker here? I'm going to darken here anyway. But I am going to darken that up a little bit. Just round the top. Yeah, so I'll go in. That was my punch. I don't know if this is the right. No. So we want pine. That's here. Don't even want to be going on, does it? That's better. Oh, it's not wanting to go on there. Maybe another new ink pad needed. Don't have to go through some ink pads. Yeah, if I darken that up there, I can do another line out of there, can't I? I know what we can put here in the grass.
what that should do. So we're having at the top um, the blossom bunch. It wasn't until recently I found out this is actually a blossom tree. But it's tiny. I didn't realise it was so tiny. So what we'll do, we'll put the blossom tree in now. Where's me? There it is. We'll put the blossom tree in. I'm going to come in with black. I'm going to do a, a few times. This is the blossom branch. Now then, I did get the tree out. I'm going to put the tree. I'll find the tree in a minute. I don't know if there's a the right way or wrong way for this. So it'll be just. I'm going to put it all the way across anyway. I just don't know which way to. Just get the tree. All right, see you, look. So if you look at the picture, it's a really tiny tree. But I thought if we put that behind there, Maybe keep the blossom that way and then the little blossom tree here. Where's our fairy gone? Still don't know what she's holding. Um, don't know what to do. I'm still umming and ahhing about her. So let's get this. Nella did it in grey. Put a few more of these on. And I'm going to colour these, the blossoming with the, the zig. I, this is the one I use for the blossom. Right, let's have a look. Oh, good. Now, I'm just going to take that off one minute because I want to stamp the tree and see how it looks. So I've not stamped it. So I'm going to stamp it off the paper. And if I do put this one here, then I can add the line leaning out that way, can't I? If that makes sense. Let's just have a, what do you guys think? It looks all right, it's coming in with that, doesn't it? It'd be great if we had a rolling mouse coming downhill. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Right, let's, yeah, I'm going to put it in. It's not being used. What's the point of having them if we don't use them? And even if I can't get, can you get pink dots in? I might just add a bit of glitter to it. So I'm going to put it there. Truly, no going there. I might not use that fairy. I might stand a couple of fairies. You know, the tiny ones. I've got them out as well. Yeah, I like I like it with that. I'm gonna put another little bit there. Yeah, I'm glad I used that. Didn't plan on using it. I thought people were using this one and turning it the other way and using it as a tree. I'm getting right confused how they were doing it. And then when I saw the stamp, I thought, hmm, I love my lemon. Right, put a little bit more of this in. I 
do love a blossom tree. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to put a bit in here. Yeah, I like that how it leans, up, leans onto it. Into it, onto it. It's another one that can be put away. Yeah, I'm leaning less and less to this fairy. I've got the others out. Let's have a look at the others. Well, I've got some of them out. Well, I've got them out, but I don't know where I've put them now. I've got me. The only reason I don't want to use that one is because I don't know where to, where, what to put in her hand. But I do have this new one here. This is called Fairy Couple. What about... Um, nope, don't like that. It's not working. I mean, I do like it. It's not working for what I want it for. Here's the other ones. Yes, I thought about this one. Looking at the house. Are oh, them two stood on top of it? I'll tell you what we'll do. First of all. Yeah. Yeah. Clear the pine. And just bring that into there. Oh, that definitely needs inking up. I may even just stop there. Yeah, because I'm going to try and darken this up a little bit just off the edge of the um. What's it called now? Twisted, twisted, twisted willow, I think it is. Yeah, I'm all right with that there now, like that. So I'm going to go back to Mind Punch. Just darken that grass up a little bit now. I am now going to I'm going to put the bit of foliage around here before we start taking these off and colouring these in so that's done did we decide on a fairy? let's have a look at I stood on that I like that. I'll go for that one once we've coloured everything in. So I shall leave that one out. That means that one can be put away. Right. 
that was foliage. Right, so as dark as it is down here, um, I'm going to stamp some, a couple of mushrooms, but I'm going to do them in the black. Yeah, I'm not doing them yet. Let's do this foliage first. So we want... We'll have a little bit of grass coming out and we'll use um, Rainforest. And because we've still got the um, I don't know what I mean mask on we can just, that's why I want to do it now we can just do, get straight on with it. Huh, I like them on there. We'll have a little bit of I'm gonna use them mushrooms around there. Are they gonna be too? No, that's okay. I'm gonna do them in the black. Put a little bit of a mask down because we didn't. I don't even know what I'm going to do with the cobbles yet, but that was the idea. Yeah, I'm just putting one. I like just the one. Right, what else have we got? I ain't used this yet. I really want to do one. This is wildflower. I mean, it's probably the total wrong scene, but I'm still coming in with it. Now then. Well, it is a secret garden, so it'd look nice if you... I'm just having one. Right, choose wisely. Colour. This is my favourite. Yep. These look good. I know I've got the mask here, but I just don't want this to go into bongs. I don't know how much of it I'm going to... Is that too... Is that too big in the middle? Put one on the end. Would it be too big? Or if I just put a bit lower down? Yeah, let's do it. There won't be a room for a fairy by the time we're finished. I mean, the whole idea of this was to show you how dark it is for the badger. And how much of a nice scene you have above when he's in dark. Let's go. I'm pretty here because then I don't have to ground that if I can get away with just putting that above it. Let's go there. Oh no, I still have to ground it a bit once a bit. I like that. I missed a bit, but it's. I can put a line in there. We won't overdo it, shall we? Yeah, we shall. That's it, no more. Bit of foliage and we'll take everything off and pull it in.
Colouring in doesn't take long. That's that one done. Oh, then I wanted to use. Let's have a look. I'm going to go for the small one. I've got these are called, it's on in back. I did the fairy bell set. And our new, don't know how this will, don't know how that will look now, let's do it next to that. We'll put a couple. Just made it green, hasn't it? Let's go see what we've got. See, I have a purple, but the purple might just do the same thing. Now it looks brown. That's because I used the county, I didn't use the purple. Silly woman. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Right, let's find something that will change the colour. Let's have a look. I got all the foliage out. Right. I think we'll have some of this. Is this called Jib? Yeah. It's a very busy garden, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not keen on that in that colour. I normally do me. What do you call it? Grass. I feel grass in that colour. And I like it, but I don't like that in that colour. I'm going to use the woodland fern. I'm going to put big on one side, small on the other. Right, so I want to try this green first. Share the in. Yeah. See, that's got a mask on, so I'm all right with that. Um, do the small. And I'm going to do the... Burden for the big one. I don't know if it will show because of the um, 
grass now. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. I mean, I wanted the garden to look busy, but... Oh, yeah, I like that one. Right. I'm going to now... Go to the dark green, which is rainforest. That's what I said. I know that you won't see weeds underneath. But I am putting some at the bottom. I think it just helps darken that bottom up a bit. I'll just find one more flower to put in the middle here and then we'll do the colour because it's very late already. Right, which one shall we use? And I'm going to use, I think the orange will show. One more bit here. Right. Now we're going to peel everything off and finish off. Getting busy again, haven't we? I've got inks everywhere. some pastels these are just art collection the what I got like I say after watching Lisa Taggart I did have the outer box but I don't know where it is and all we're going to do is really 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 darken this up and I darkened it up with um, dark brown I think I used and green so I'm just gonna that's the only problem for me it gives it leaves lines if you do it with yeah, that's what I want to do If you hadn't had a go with these, honestly, they're amazing. 
it's just getting used to it and not having them you know you see these little lines through it So I'm going to bring in a bit of brown now. And that's it, he will look smudged very shortly. On the pyjamas. I mean, I'm not going to go any darker, I don't think. Because it just... The idea was just so you could see what it was like for... Little badger under there. thing about it and I was it's it's quick all I'm gonna do with this underneath here is use this apart from having them lines there which I find quite annoying So I'm going to put a bit of black over him. There we go, and then with a little bit of white, I'm going to smudge that into his. This is where it goes blurry. There we go. And then what I will do after. I will give him, I will colour that in proper black where his eye is. There we go. There. To me, he still looks like a badger. Yeah. Colour that green in. There you go. I should have done a bit more foliage under here. I might even make that a bit darker after. I'm going to take this off because I'm going to do the same with the tree. Oh, that's white. Um, I might use the lighter brown. I'm sorry guys, we're running out of time. Well, we've run out of time, haven't we? I'm just going to lightly go over it. Will that do it? That'll do it. I just want to make sure there's no white on this now. That's it. I think I'll probably cut that down at edges anyway. But I like that as it is. Be 
that down down a bit. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to, you could um, eat embossing. And then he'd stay black anyway, but if it to me is too shiny then underneath. Right, I'm just gonna move these out of the way because we're gonna use the colour pencils. Gosh it gets everywhere. gonna so this is the fluorescent pink these are water based and I'm literally just gonna go over and colour them in I don't you don't have to add any other colours to this I don't think I mean, it'd be even nice if you didn't do it in pink it would be a nice blue would look lovely Make sure it's not all over my hands. I don't know what to do about this one. Do I make it a pink tree or a glittery tree? Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we'll just... Odd bit here and there. I'm not going to put loads on. That's plenty in there. I'm really sorry about time, guys. This is probably going to be my longest one. But I've, I've done tops like this before, but I really wanted to use the badger just to... It just makes it a totally different card, doesn't it? Well, I think this one will go in a frame anyway. Depends how much I cut it down. I normally cut them all down. I'm not doing this very neat right now. I'm just trying to get it done for you because of the time. Well, I can tell I've been studying for a while. My feet are coming. Don't forget, guys, go over to the Lavinia Challenge. I'm gonna go this afternoon, I'm going to put... Um, Put the post up and put the link in it again so you can click straight onto it you can um, enter five times so that's all right if i wasn't um guest designer i would be entering it that's for sure i don't like getting some freebie stamps is there that's it with the pink take this one off and i'm just gonna I'll just use this brown, is that, that's like an orangey brown isn't it? I'm going to put a little bit of the, these are just the 24 watt colour pencil, I think, I think they came from Lavinia and I'm just going to put a bit there and a bit darker at the ends I mean, it matches the actual stamping, doesn't it? Best thing about this is you don't have to colour neat. Right, with my pen, uh, my paintbrush, put a bit of water on my table. I really am rushing, I'm really sorry. Just like that, that's done. I mean, you could do this with your tree if you wanted to, but I don't think that tree looks bad like that. 
So I'll start where it's lighter in the middle then go up to the edges. And then it's not all one colour. I'm happy with that colour. What I'll do with all is I'll, I'll stamp the fairy offline because it really is running out of time now. Um, I think we'll have a purple door. No, we'll go purple here underneath. I'm not going to put, I'm going to fade it out so it's just shadow and then fade out. And I'm going to use my favourite colours when I'm doing this which is purple and yellow. That's I've got a really good um, five-fold card, five-fold, that's the first time I've told anybody. So if you haven't watched the video to end, you don't know what's coming. But it's for the Lavinia Challenge and it's fantastic, if I do say so myself. I'm going to don't know if they'll take but I'm just going to colour them in grey but I don't know if they'll take with the green if not I'll alter it offline and do it black so I can do it with grey then can I? I would have normally put a lot more time into the colouring and what have you. Yeah. And we might have a bit of red brick in here. It'll all come out the same colour in end in a minute. And we will have a blue door. That's all we need. Right, with the water again. I'm going to do these bits first. Yeah, I don't think the grey and the green is going to work, is it? Let's have a look. No, I'll go over them in black. Definitely not going to work. That's okay. I'll have a blue door. Red brick. I didn't put a lot of pencil on them. The idea was to get that a bit too toned there. I'll sort it. That maybe needed a bit more on. So in that case. I'll just give them a scribble. And I'll do that bottom one when it dries. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to stop filming. Because when people see that it's been going an hour and four minutes already, they're not going to watch. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you have a great Easter. And I look forward to seeing what you create. And I'll finish this off and put a photo up. Okay, guys. Have fun. Happy crafting. Bye.